if someone were to come to you uh, in, in council, of course, and 32-year-old woman, uh, she has three children, she's pretty healthy, but they have a sibling that needs a kidney. And there's a history of, of kidney disease in the family. And she's thinking, well, uh, my children may need it one day. Do you say no to your sibling? How do you, how do you counsel someone that has this kind of, of decision to make? I counsel them very carefully as, as mm -hmm. a minister in this particular instance because this is a very personal question. And I'm not sure that the scripture gives clear guidelines on exactly what should be done. Obviously, uh, Jesus did teach us to, to give our coat, our cloak, to go the extra mile, to turn the other cheek, to go beyond, and to sacrifice for others. And yet, also teaches us to be wise and to be good parents. So this is a very difficult choice and uh, I probably don't tell them what to do for sure as a pastor, mm -hmm. but I lead them to help make a decision in a good way. Then what would you do? What would I do? Yes. Boy, if it was my mm -hmm. sibling, I probably would give my kidney and trust okay. God for my children's sake. Mm -hmm. Okay. Since they weren't diseased at the present time. You're very Jewish. You don't know that. <laughs> because I have roots there, you know. <laughs> you can talk about that. The Jewish tradition says you save one life, you save a world. And you can't pre-feel right. or predetermine when you die. Okay. So you can't know how you're going to use that kidney in the future. You have to make the best decision now right. Right. for the present. And so you save a life, you can save a world. And maybe those children, who mm. knows, maybe another child is a better match. God forbid they need a kidney. So give the kidney. Right. Give the kidney. Give the kidney. I would give the kidney. Okay. I think, um, you know, my area of expertise is the spiritual world. I think this is something that the person needs to be counseled to mm. be in right. close conversation with the medical right. professionals right. that they're working right. with. And there's slight shades that might push it one way or the other mm -hmm. in terms of the health of the mm -hmm. children, in terms of the, right. the, you know, where other matches might be. And so I, I really, what I do in these moments is I say, I counsel you to make whatever decision that you make out of love. Mm -hmm. And let love be the guiding thing that is going to bring you through this. And that's But what if you want to donate to someone who it's anonymous? Is that love too? Yes, of course it yeah. is. Greater yeah. love hath no person right. than they would lay, lay down, down their, their life. life. Right. Um, and uh, I really think that 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 that's the that's the guiding ethical thing that drives, you know, Christians and indeed most religious people along is to make decisions like this out of love. But I think what you, I thought you were leading to is to get the medical information, the best medical information Absolutely. that you can get. Mm -hmm. I think it would be very important uh, for that person to find out their own health risk, their children's situation. But I too would say make that decision out of love and do what you can do now. You have the opportunity to save a life. Now what if it's an estranged family? This is a, a sibling that has been disconnected from the family says all of a sudden I need a kidney mm -hmm. right now and they haven't been talking in it several years. I my brother it. though if he's mm -hmm. a stranger exactly. not, right. I mean he's right. still you know. You know what, what gets really interesting is say you say no mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to that brother. How do you face them in the future? Right. Right. Because not. You may not. They, they may be gone. Yes. Yeah, that's right. right. How do you do that? Mm -hmm. How do you go through that funeral? You know, that's the tough part. Well, and I think when we think about relationships, um, to do uh, and act like that when there is estrangement, I think is a greater statement of love. Now, that's hard, but what that could maybe do for that family to see that act of love, I think might even be more surprising and more healing.